Welcome aboard, it's Captain G to Global War 1985 Killing Fields, 12.2 U.S. Pacific Command. So this is the last scheduled regular turn. We begin the variable ending uh, with China. Although the variable ending, for those who have watched these games before, depends on the amount of uh, nuclear weapons that have been used in this game. And so far we haven't used any. So we're likely to continue at least for a couple more turns. Uh, before I start this turn, I wanted to call out, I think Ozark Outposts mentioned the first mistake I made, which is uh, undervaluing the cost of the amphibious assault ship. I paid five, so that was taken off the map. That was my mistake. And then I put five IPP in the bank. And then Admiral Seabass mentioned on his turn my second mistake, which is not paying attention to the border here in Tokyo. If I move this out of the way, you'll see there's a border here between Fukuoka and Tokyo. So looking quickly at the map, I saw a major port and a minor shipyard, major port and a minor shipyard. And I thought all four of those were Tokyo, but this is actually Fukuoka. And uh, Tokyo does not have anything on this side of the island besides the major shipyard. So in order for me to do the sea lift of the SAM to Sapporo, I needed to pay for the repair of that shipyard. Uh, and that's what I did with the 5.8 IPP that I conveniently had because of the amphibious assault ship. Um, so with that out of the way, let's jump into this turn. Uh, we're going to do technologies. The U.S. is going for technology 5, which is a new one for us. This is Caterpillar Drive. We're going for tech 7, which is strategic defense initiative. We start on... Level one, stage one, and we're committing two dice to that, two of our Nancy Reagans. And Tech 10, also new to us, because we finished the ones we were going after. This is Chemical Warfare, and we're committing one of our purple Ronald Reagan dice to that. So, grabbing our randomizer, throwing those all in there. Let's see how we do, looking for high numbers. And we got a three and a four and a three. We did get a 12 though on Cat Drive, technology five. So this moves us to Cat Drive stage one. Cat Drive stage one for my fellow players. All right, let's move directly to purchase. Um, so on 12.1, the Soviets finally decided to use their um, new ability, which we're play testing, which is the um, interdiction with uh, ASM capable aircraft. So his um, TU-22 was able to interdict military sea lift or any military aid going through this sea zone. So. Uh, unable to send anything by sea to our frenemies, the U.S. is pivoting, and we are celebrating the sending of an air unit to China, and they have completed um, their advanced technology for air units. I think he's still working on naval, so we're able to send him a uh, nuclear-capable attack bomber for 11. So that's our military um, aid. So half of our 22 IPP cash on hand go to the Chinese. That leaves us with 11. We're paying six, because we learned our lesson. Six for the amphibious assault ship. Four for a diesel electric submarine, and that leaves one in the bank. And this five was to commemorate the whole amphibious assault ship uh, slash port repair fiasco that I've already covered. And then the normal uh, slew of missiles, the three that we can't use for the Tomahawks, the three cruise missiles that we seem to fire straight at his AMD missiles, and two more anti-ship missiles that we're building up for the second uh, naval conflict. So we'll set that aside. We'll jump 
over here now uh, just off the Philippines in P38 this is our one and only combat we are conducting a cruise missile strike so this um, symbol is the assembly point for the Air Force Task Force we're sending a B-52 out of Tokyo one two and again I don't believe he could scramble but regardless I send escorts because I've made mistakes before and he's got advanced air superiority fighters and all kinds of crazy things flying around and just in case I missed where he placed them I want to keep this habit going so F-15 one two and the AVAB Marine Corps Naval Fighter one two they're flying escorts uh he could not scramble chose not to scramble so this a facility strike these are two cruise missiles flying in and we're going after the minor air base in the philippines so it only has an inherent single sam as opposed to the three that are defending themselves and the air and the ground unit so he's only going to get one dice per cruise missile, so two AMD dice. So we have two AMDs at four or less to throw into the randomizer. Looking for high numbers? Excellent. A 10 and an 8. Here it is, a golden opportunity for the men and women of the United States Air Force to make a positive impact in the game. So, cruise missiles are at five, black dice are five. Into the randomizer, I want a one, two, three, four, or five, five or less. Oh, a one and a 12. All right, so we did get one, so that caused, that's my mistake, my mistake. I'm so excited that the Air Force finally, I rolled uh, an attack. This is not an attack, this is a facility strike. So my fellow players are shaking their heads saying, come on, come on, Captain G. I apologize. So the AMD missed, which meant the two missiles hit on the facility strike. So each missile is not, I'm not rolling for, to decide whether or not there was damage. I'm rolling to see how much damage uh understand the difference there that was a mistake on my part so i'm actually rolling these two d6 dice and adding up the damage so one two three is one point four five six is two so at most i can get four points damage minimum two points okay all right so that's what i got i got a one so that's one point damage i have five that's two total of three points damage on the minor air base in the Philippines. And I'm just going to place those chips under the Naval Air Station to represent three IPP of damage, um, which means he has to repair that before he sends out his aircraft on combat missions to do terrible awful really bad things all right so that completes our combat so let's do some non-combat now I took you back to the battle battle bin for no reason I apologize okay so let's land those aircraft good job cruise missiles way to go air force all right so the b-52 is going back to tokyo from whence it came as is the AVAB one, two. Move the air designation. The F-15 flying one, two is gonna go three, four, five, six, and fly back to Sapporo Island. So, sorry, Sapporo Island. And the reason it's doing that, pivot slightly, is I'm moving this carrier fleet to P-33 and I'm sending this F, um, F-14 Naval ASF 
moving one, two, three, four, and it's going to jump on the independence. There we go. All right. And uh, in addition to that F uh, Naval ASF, I'm sending a Naval attack bomber flying from Tokyo, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna fly to the carriers. Okay. And I think this is technically, technically a, no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Um, yeah, I am. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna fly this to the carriers as well. So I can increase my, um, that was an S3, uh, Vic, uh, an S8, S3 Viking flying from Tokyo to P33 as well. And I'll do a status of forces recap. All right, from P38, this SSN on silent running is gonna go one, two, three, four. and come off silent running, I guess, since I'm with the fleet. And then this SSN and two diesel electric are just gonna move one, two, and join up with the fleet as well. All right. And then last but not least, this nuclear attack boat in P-10, is gonna come down one, two, three to P-38 and remain on silent running off of Guam in P-38. All right, so the ones in Hawaii came off silent running. The one in Guam remained in silent running. Let me check my notes. Fleet, subs, uh, I flew the Naval attack bomber, yep. And I flew the F-14. Okay, now I'm gonna do an airlift from Hawaii, I'm sorry, from Alaska. From Alaska, he's gonna fly all the way down here to Queensland. That's an airlift of a light infantry from Alaska to Queensland. I'm going to rebase the P3 that's in Queensland up to Hawaii. I'm also going to rebase the advanced ASF is he rebasing or is he flying? No, he's flying. He's flying. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the airbase bonus seven. So the advanced air superiority fighter flew from the Western US to Tokyo. Flew on his own accord, no, uh, no rebasing. So I had one of my rebasing was the P3. The second rebase, rebasing, is the naval fighter in Queensland and he'll rebase to, no, he's not. No, he's not, I miscalculated. Miscalculated, all right, I'm not worried about that one. Um, just check my note, P3 Orion. And, uh, okay, that's, and I landed all the other units. Yes, that's everything. All right, ASF units. All right, let's place units. And it's really, I just want you to see the, there you go. All right, so if we bring this out, using the minor shipyard in Hawaii, we're gonna build the ASF there with the fleet. And we're gonna build the diesel electric submarine right there. Actually, Yes, because that's not considered home country. Hawaii is not considered home country for the pack. So that's good. And then um, I have one I saved, so I'm gonna get rid of all these. I'll add the missiles to the missile counter after. So the last thing is the 
delivery of this military aid, this Chinese attack bomber, we're gonna build it in the West Coast and it's gonna to fly to the air base here in Beijing. So it doesn't have to deal with the interdiction of the sea units because it's flying airbase to airbase. Super awesome, fantastic. All right, so let's collect income. Uh, the US has 25, which is 19 plus six, but we minus six because of the economic warfare that we've been enduring since the very beginning of the war. And the only thing left is rolling for our support from Papa US Global Command. So, where's the randomizer? We want a high number. Six, so that's four IPP. So 19 plus four is 23. IPP that the US Pacific Command will have next turn. With that, I'll turn it over to the People's Republic of China under Chairman Ozark Outpost. This is Captain G, over and out.